Hello, it is Thursday, March 24th, a mild and overcast day here in Seoul. I'm Alex Jensen and these are your latest daily headlines. North Korea fired a long-range ballistic missile this afternoon, according to South Korea's military, raising immediate suspicions that the North may have launched its first ICBM, or Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, since 2017. The South's Joint Chiefs of Staff noted the missile was fired at a lofted angle, around a week after North Korea's failed test involving an apparent long-range rocket system. President Moon Jae-in swiftly called an emergency National Security Council meeting while we await further analysis. Pyongyang strongly hinted it was ending its moratorium on ICBM and nuclear tests back in January, but this would be a significant breach of UN Security Council resolutions. President-elect Yoon suk yeol will follow tradition when it comes to his inauguration ceremony, even if he's already shaking things up in other areas. The May 10th event will take place in the plaza in front of the National Assembly or inside the main building there if there's rain. Yoon's camp had reviewed other locations, even though all inaugurations since the late 1980s have taken place at the National Assembly. One of the options under consideration had been Yongsan Park, close to where Yoon plans to relocate the presidential office, despite security concerns raised by current leader Moon Jae-in. Meanwhile, President Moon and his successor Yoon are colliding over a new Bank of Korea chief. Moon's office yesterday announced that IMF official Lee chang yong has been picked to replace Lee ju yeol as BOK governor, adding that the selection had been discussed with Yoon's office. But the latter denied this, raising further controversy over whether it's right for the outgoing president to make appointments for key positions. Yet there doesn't seem to be a conflict over Lee chang yong himself, as he comes highly recommended, being described by IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva as an outstanding institutional leader. Well, that gets you up to date with your daily headlines. You can check out more career-related news via that link shown below. All the latest career developments at your fingertips. Also, subscribe to Career Now so we can share all of our latest content with you.